What is up guys? Welcome back to the homestead. It's a beautiful morning down here at the bottom. We had some rain last night. A lot of rain. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Mike. And uh, my name is Liz. This is my beautiful wife and we have been building our homestead for about the last two years now. Today, we have some more sawmilling to do. All the sawmilling. All the sawmilling. We are milling boards to put shiplap up in our shop house and we need quite a bit more so we got to get right to it yeah let's do that so for those that don't know liz and i have the harbor freight sawmill can cut up to about a 23 inch log and still have a, almost an inch of clearance on each side uh right now we got it nine feet long is the longest we can cut we do have plans you can see we poured concrete to extend the uh track system here but we just haven't gotten around to it um, but it works good, so yeah, that's works, what we'll be using. Works really good. We have a big log. Um, if any of you guys saw our last video, we cut the other log that was about the same size. Really big boards, like 15 and a half inches wide. So that's what we're hoping to get out of this one too. When Liz and I first started with the bandsaw mill here, we were using an old, I think it's a 1984 Suzuki King Quad, and it was doable getting these logs on the mill, um, but it was quite a challenge. Since then, we have upgraded. We bought this uh, 1988 John Deere 690D. Obviously, it's way easier moving it with this. Um, we have these log tongs. Unfortunately, the thumb that we have on this machine is a fixed thumb, so we have to move it manually to each position. And it's really, really heavy to move, so it's not the easiest thing to move around. We found that these log tongs are a heck of a lot easier um, especially because you can spin them, it rotates it, so you don't have to have everything lined up absolutely perfectly. The, longs, the log tongs give you quite a bit of uh, leeway to get the piece of wood on there. So hopefully it fits because I just said in the video that it should fit. <laughs> That's close.
So we're having to really work for this log. You can see we got it all chopped up with the chainsaw, blade popped off, have to change that. What else? I don't know, life's making us earn it. We still haven't posted that on Facebook, but... Looking for somebody. Figure out an efficient way to do we this. We need to be careful. Alrighty. Well... Does it go with the same like Predator engine? No, we'll be able to find a one. Alright guys, I wanted to take a second and thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Skillshare. And if you haven't heard of them, Skillshare is an online learning community for curious and creative people wanting to further their learning. They have thousands of different courses for anybody out there who's really looking to hone in a skill or focus on a new hobby. I've been taking classes that focus on online marketing, social media design, and how to land freelance gigs. And all these classes help me further my creativity and focus on personal growth. With all the crazy projects we got going on here at the Homestead, it's tough to find time to randomly research information on the internet. And Skillshare makes it super easy to focus on the exact topic you're looking to explore. And Skillshare has a great gift for you guys. They are giving the first 1,000 people who click the link down in the description a free one-month service of Skillshare. So go check it out. It's a great deal. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to it. Okay, so that's how you do that, I guess. Yeah. You just need to pay attention to it.
I'll stand on this side of you. Sure, I'm pretty sure I just clicked it. You want to wear sunglasses? That is another big log. That was, yeah, it worked out good. Um, we measured it. It was 23 inches by 22 inches with a six foot two diameter around the whole thing. So that was a really big log. Really big log. It's kind of, I mean, we had to go through a couple of extra steps in the beginning because the blade wouldn't make it all the way through the log. Yeah, that's why we used the chainsaw to cut that one side off. Um, our guide bars we're actually hitting on the mill uh, because the tree was so big massive tree one of the biggest trees we've done on this mill for sure yeah and we've done some pretty good size ones we kind of messed up there with the chainsaw um, when it comes to the shiplap board so we weren't able to get as many boards as we would normally be able to we got i think like three chunks that were like two feet smaller right which is fine we're definitely going to be able to use them but just kind of a little bit of a bummer when it doesn't go exactly as you planned it would go. Yeah, seriously. And I ended up cutting those a little bit thicker, so they're definitely still usable boards. For sure. Um, but you live and you learn. Now we know when we have to use the chainsaw again that we really need to pay attention. And, you know, we kind of figure everything out as we go. And, right. We still have yeah. lots of lumber. Uh, we definitely appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have a lot of milling to do this summer. Lots more milling. Hopefully you guys are interested in the milling videos because, yeah, we have a pile of them coming at you. We're excited. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.